or the author of the brand new book, Unwoke, How to Defeat Cultural Marxism in America. Yeah. He's from the free state of Texas. Let's give a warm welcome to Senator Ted Cruz. Senator, I gave the numbers. We see the economy. We see two-thirds of the American people now can't make ends meet. You see people cashing in their retirement plans. To make ends meet, people for bare necessities are using credit cards. It's never been this bad. In my lifetime, at least. Sean, the sad truth is... The, the sad truth is the socialists are in charge of the White House. Joe Biden certainly isn't, but the people he's surrounded him with, they have a very simple approach to everything. They want to spend money they don't want have. They want to raise taxes on you. They've unleashed record inflation. This budget that Biden put out would create a $50 trillion national debt. And their view is they can just keep printing money and unleashing inflation and borrowing money from China. And it is wildly irresponsible. You know what's not in this budget? Funds to secure our southern border. They, they want to fund 87,000 new IRS agents, but they don't have funds for, for significant numbers of new Border Patrol agents. They don't have funds for significant number of new DEA agents to stop the fentanyl crisis, the over 100,000 overdoses that happened last year on Biden's watch. This is a tax and spend budget. And amazingly, some of the taxes, they've got $5.5 trillion in new taxes in this budget. That includes taxes directly on energy. So remember all the Democrats who said, gosh, we want your gas prices low? They were lying. Yeah. Joe Biden's budget is saying he wants gas, gas prices much, much higher, and he's going to put taxes on them, or he wants to, in order to drive the prices up. Now, here's the good thing. The chances of this budget being enacted in the law are 0.0 percent. This is a political document. We have a Republican House. They ain't going to do it. Senator. And the amazing thing is, Biden knows that. He knows that this will never pass. So this is him telling you what he wants to do. And what he wants to do is, is really extreme and really dangerous. And this is at a point where two-thirds of the American people are living paycheck to paycheck. And, and literally yes. every American household, the first two years of Biden's presidency, has paid over $10,000 in Biden inflation taxes. Now, people can't afford this type of, of economy that he wants to build. It's never going to work. I'm glad you're right. I, I don't think it's going to pass. I, th I don't think the House will ever pass it. But what does it say about them wanting to pass it? Well, you know, there used to be such a thing as moderate Democrats in, in Congress. They've been driven out. The people setting the agenda, this is Bernie Sanders' budget. This is AOC. This is Elizabeth Warren. And, and, and let me show you just some amazing stats um, just on a quick review uh, of, of the budget. All right, here's how many times the following words appear in the budget. Equity, 63 times. Climate. 148 times, environmental justice, 25 times, transgender, eight times, intersex, which I have no idea what that is, seven times. Senator, now let's you, compare you went to it to Harvard, things Senator, like if you the don't American know, None of us know either. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we, That's more a Yale thing. <laughs> so but let me give you the other side of that, John. I, I, I'm, I hope we don't have Yale people. Think. Go ahead, real quick. We got to break. <laughs> So things the American people care about, inflation only 10 times, fentanyl twice, border security eight times, police four times, law enforcement nine times, crime 24 times, and gas prices three times. They tell you who they are. Senator Ted Cruz, yes. thank you for being with us. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.